another component of the item analysis of multiple choice question is the item discrimination that will determine whether the item or the question can discriminate between high performing students and low performing students the analysis is based on statistical calculation using the point pi serial correlation coefficient item discrimination item means a question or refers to a question item discrimination assists the exam quality assessing each question in exam sheet as either good or bad question it does differentiate between students who have mastered the subject content from those who have not it does determine how well an item is discriminating between good and poor students point pi serial correlation coefficient assists the educator or educate educators to identify good or bad test question so the coefficient is one of the item discrimination index it does measure the discriminating power of an item or a question it is a method of measuring the relationship between student total exam scores continuous variable from 0 to 100 and students item mark or score dichotomous variable dichotomous mean two categories correct or wrong answer it does measure the strength of the relationship between two set of data so here in this case we have two variable we need to correlate two variable with each other one of the variable is continuous such as the total mark which is in percentage from zero to a hundred and the other variable is categorial two categories correct or wrong answer the test statistical test the point by serial correlation coefficient does measure the direction of the relationship and it does calculate the significance of the relationship by producing a p value a p value less than 0.05 indicates significant relationship p value greater than 0.05 indicates non-significant association now the statistical test for point by serial correlation coefficient generate a value or values and these values range from minus one to plus one plus one indicate a perfect correlation positive correlation a minus one indicate a negative correlation a strong one now positive value of the coefficient indicate that indicates that the learner who answered a given question correctly also have a high score on the overall exam and those who answered the same questions wrongly have low total mark in the test a high positive value indicate that or indicates that the question is discriminating high performing students from low performing students negative 
coefficient value means a high performing students are getting the answer wrong and low performing students are getting it right in this case remove the question from the exam paper however if the coefficient value is zero that means the item or the question is not discriminating between students so it's worth changing it or modifying it in this small table any value of point by serial that is greater than 0.4 indicate that the question is very good and a value of 0.25 to 0.4 suggest a good items fair item have a b have a point by serial value of 0.15 to 0.25 any question that have a value of point by serial of less than 0.15 then it is a bad question or a bad item that worth modifying or omitting from the exam here in this table shown a exam result for 15 students answering 15 questions and multiple choice questions and each question is recorded the score for it as either zero on one one is correct answer zero wrong answer two perform by serial correlation coefficient statistical test to generate to perform the statistical test to generate the coefficient or calculate the coefficient we first have to calculate the correct answer that each individual student has achieved and then by adding all the questions scores for each individual student together divide them by the total number of questions in this case 15 and then multiply them by 100 to generate the total mark or total score or the percentage of the total mark as going as as it is given here in the uh, blue marked values in the column labeled as mark so for in the point by serial correlation once the total mark is calculated the test is performed and the test will correlate each specific questions the value in each questions the scores in each questions with the total mark as shown here in this again slide to calculate the r which is the coefficient or to execute the uh, point by serial correlation statistical test to generate the coefficient take every question with its value and scores 0 1 and correlate that with the total mark for the whole students and we do this for every question or every item to generate specific r value for each questions and the p value for that question this is how it is done in a statistical package or software in this slide this is a scatter plot showing a color correlation between wrong and correct item an answer wrong, wrong and correct for question number five and as we can see here in the y-axis is labeled as exam mark from 0 to 100 and on the x-axis it is uh, labeled from 0 1 0 means wrong answer 1 means correct answer as we can see here most of the students that who answered question number 5 item number 5 uh, tend to have higher overall exam mark compared to those who had answered the question number five wrongly tend to have lower total score or total mark 
So this question five from this scatter plot can be considered as really a good questions. It can discriminate between the high performing student and low performing students. The next slide shows item analysis using the point by serial correlation coefficient either in SPSS or in another package software called Excel. As we can see here for each individual question there is a value calculated for point by serial cal value calculated and a p-value for, for question number one to question number 15. Again, here we have questions with their point by serial value and p-value. In the red labeled scores, question number one, we see that the value is negative and it is not significant because the p-value is greater than 0.05. Again, this question number one indicates that higher performing students are answering this question wrongly and low performing students are answering it correctly. So this question is a very bad question that need to be removed from the exam as it is negative. If we look at the question number six, which is labeled yellow, you can see the value for the coefficient or the R is close to zero and the P value is very high. So this question is not discriminating between high and low student. So it is close to zero and it's considered to be a bad question and it's either required to be modified or omitted from the exam. If we look at question number 11, 12 and 13, we can see that the R value is very high, 0.51 for question number 11 and the P value is less than 0.05. So this question number 11 is a very good question in discriminating between students. So it is classed as a, or categorized, categorized as a good, a very good question. Again, number Q12 also a good question as it is the value for it 0.33 and the P value less than 0.041. And the same thing for question number 13, it is can call it a very good question as the value r value is 0.48 and the p value is very low if we again go back again and look at question two we can see that question two the r value is 0.15 which is mm, we can call it a fair question however since the p value is not significant then this question is also is not discriminating between high and low performing students and need to be re-modified. Again, from this table on the bottom, we can say that question number three is a good question. Question number four is a very good question. Number five is a very good, if not excellent question. Number seven, is not a good question. Number eight is a good question. Number 10 is a good question. And 11, 12, 13, I have described them. Number 14 is a very good question. Number 15 is a very good question. And number 16, I had, I have the data for it, but it wasn't included in the uh, tables but again number 16 here it is a very good question as the p-value is less than 0.05 so this is the way to use the power 
of the point by serial correlation coefficient to determine the R value and the P value and to look at the correlation between specific question and correlating it to the overall mark to determine whether the question is good or bad.